Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common challenge faced by developers working with SAP HANA. Our viewer has a question about how to properly use the IF exists statement in a HANA SQL query. They provided a snippet of code that attempts to check for the existence of a table before dropping it, but they're encountering errors. Let's dive into the details and find out how to effectively perform this check in HANA SQL. Welcome to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy, like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to that video. To perform an if exists check in SAP HANA SQL, we need to use a different approach since the if exists syntax is not supported. Instead, we can use a combination of select statements and conditional logic. We can achieve similar functionality by using a select statement to check for the existence of the object and then using a conditional statement to drop the table if it exists. Here's how you can rewrite your query. First, check if the table exists using a select statement. Then if it does, execute the drop table command. This code snippet first counts the number of existing tables with the specified name. If the count is greater than zero, it proceeds to drop the table. Finally, remember to replace BAL WMS staging with the actual name of your table and ensure that your session has the necessary permissions to drop tables. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In HANA SQL, the if exists syntax isn't supported. Instead, you can query the catalog and use an if-then statement SQL script. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To perform an IF exists check in HANA SQL, you can use a select statement with a case expression. This method checks if a specific object exists in the syst objects table. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In HANA SQL, there's no direct if exists condition. Instead, you can use a variable as a flag to check for existence. First, initialize the flag with a query that selects an object ID from the sys.objects table. Then check if the flag is not empty. If it's not, you can safely drop the table. I hope that video helped get through to the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a great one. Cheers.